Hey everybody, welcome back. John Nunez with Felvin Physical Therapy. Today we're going to be going over some injury prevention work. Uh, we're going to be targeting some strengthening at the hips to protect the knees and the ankles. So this is going to be a neuromuscular re-education technique. It's a little drill to help your brain turn on the proper hip muscles when they're supposed to turn on to protect your hips, knees, and ankles. So we're going to have Nick. Uh, Nick, you're going to step up onto the platform here. This way. Yeah, we're just going to put this on first. So we're going to put the band, the resistance band, around his knees. So I'll just put in. Good. All right, now I'm going to make sure I don't pinch his hair. Good. All right, so we have the band just at his knees. And Nick, you're going to turn. Actually, no, you're going to, yeah, turn the face that way for me. Good. Good. We'll face the camera. Start a little wider. Good. Now what the band is doing, the band is trying to pull his knees together. So that means he has to actively force his knees to the side, which is utilizing his glute muscles on the outside of his hip to help stabilize that joint. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have him jump off of the platform onto the ground. The entire time, especially once he hits the ground and the landing, he's got to maintain pressure out into the band so his knees don't collapse. So what we're looking for is proper mechanics and alignment with his knees directly under his hips and over his toes when he lands. Make sense? Yep. Think you got it? Yes. All right, so let's see. Nice soft landing. Okay. Good. All right, we're going to have you step back up. It's a little awkward to step back up. We're going to hop back up. So what I want you to do when you land, land a little wider. Okay? okay. So feel the resistance into the band and really push into it. I want you to land with your hips about hip-width apart. Okay. Good. Okay, back up. One more time. So putting it all together now. I want you to sink into it. So when you land, don't land stiff-legged. Land and sink into the motion. Okay. Good. That was much better. So this is a great neuromuscular technique to help activate the muscles in the side of the hip, to help protect the knees, avoid those dreaded ACL injuries, um, other patellar tendonitis injuries, uh, and basically any kind of injury that comes from dynamic loading of the knee when we have weakness in the glutes. So Nick, thanks for helping out. Uh, another little fitness tip from Feldman Physical Therapy, and see you next time.